Hey guys, Aquarium Garden. It's a little update. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the uh, the fish tank is currently being medicated. I've uh, noticed over the last, well, last at the end of last week, some of the discus scratching and uh, really not being super happy. They pretty much were. Uh, not swimming around the way they are now. They were um, more huddling down in this corner over here to the bottom left hand side of the tank and um, they would be flicking their f their fins and pretty much acting lethargic. They would just kind of hang hang out by the plants. Uh, they weren't um, they didn't act ravenous the way they normally do for food and um, what that means is they had uh, some external parasites and that's caused probably because I just introduced a new fish he's there in the front it's this guy and I uh, jumped the gun and taking him out of quarantine too quickly and uh, because I did that because I wasn't patient um, he obviously brought some uh, some external parasites into the aquarium and of course they made their way uh, across to the other discus so um, I needed to medicate um, you can't really let uh, if you have parasites they're just not going to go away on their own um, so I've done a bunch of water changes and then uh, I cranked my heat up to 85 degrees which typically will in many cases be enough to kill a lot of external parasites um, and not only that I'm just digging under my fish tank here I treated them with um, well you really can't see that it's a Sarah product called um, Omnipure and it's for external parasites and flukes. And the uh, the treatment for that is to uh, medicate the aquarium for uh, seven days, disable your UV sterilizer, which I did. This tank does run a UV sterilizer, um, so I disable the UV sterilizer and also, of course, don't run any carbon in your aquarium which I uh, wasn't at the time and at the end of seven days you're supposed to throw a bag of carbon in there I'm going to throw it in my sump and basically let the carbon pull all of the uh, all of the medication out and uh, of course I'll, I'll buttress that with doing a couple of large water changes at the end I've been uh, cycling in some fresh water throughout this um, medication process but uh, this is probably the second time I've medicated the entire tank since it's been up um, both times because I was a little overzealous with adding fish um, early on the quarantine so I'm really going to try to learn my lesson this time and uh, keep the fish in the quarantine for uh, anywhere from four to six weeks as opposed to two weeks like what I did well, I'm happy to say um, that, as you can tell, the discus are doing really well. They're kind of back to their normal selves, even despite the um, extremely green water. I don't know if you can see it through the LED lights, but those are uh, just the lights are when they penetrate the water. They leave that, that green, those green lines there. The whole tank water is really green. Um, but... As you can tell now, the discus fins are up, which is a good sign. Uh, that's what you want to see with a healthy discus. Um, all of them are like that. They even had uh, this pair of lay eggs again, which they uh, for sure would not do if they weren't feeling well. That's the female there, and there's the male. And uh, their fins are up. This guy's fins. Their new guy, the new culprit. I guess I'm the culprit. This guy's really innocent. He only went where I put him. Um, this guy too. Now I do have one in the back. 
who's still hiding out. Um, it's kind of hard to see him, but he's a uh, he has not been moving around too much. He does eat. He just has been sitting back there um, ever since I had the breakout. So um, I might need to pull him out and put him in uh, and just kind of separate him from the main group uh, and kind of give him a chance to be in a uh, in the quarantine tank for a little while by himself just to get right but if I he will he will eat when he's back there he looks pretty healthy he's not getting too thin but he's really just not coming out so anyway this is the new guy it's pretty fish As you can tell, they're all ready to eat. They think they're going to get fed. And I guess the only other addition I made is I put some Anubius in here. Um, it's a pretty cool piece of Anubius. Hopefully it takes off. I've heard it's fairly easy to grow. I'm trying to stick with mostly easy stuff. Since I'm not running CO2, Everything in the tank's pretty much crips, except for that Anubius there. You might get another Anubius, depends on how well it does. Um, that's it. I've probably got about, let's see, today is uh, today's Sunday, day before uh, day before Memorial Day, or Labor Day rather. And uh, so that means I still got three more days. I got Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, for the uh, for the medication to to uh, be in the tank in the aquarium. So hopefully at the end of this, I'll throw up another video and kind of show you how everything's gone. The fish have handled it really well. Um, the medication on the the uh, the Omnipure by Sarah makes this by the way. Um, the Omnipure uh, medication does note that it can be harmful to plants with. Um, with delicate leaves. Um, so far my plants really are tolerating the, uh, the medication well. Um, and it's supposed to be easy on biological system. So that's a good thing. Um, but yeah. So that's it for now. Thanks for checking it out. It's not always pretty and perfect as you can see. Sometimes you make uh, you make mistakes and hopefully use these as a learning experience. Um, so my advice to you is don't do what I did. Uh, if, you're, if you have a discus aquarium and you get new discus, make sure you're quarantining them for four to six weeks and make sure you medicate while they're in the quarantine tank and hopefully avoid this issue of having to medicate basically 70, over 75 gallons of aquarium water here. Thanks for checking it out, guys. Take care.